What is going on everybody? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing, turning on the bell notification and leaving a like because you guys will find a lot of tutorials just like this. So please, but please leave a like to make my day a whole lot better. But anyways, I'm sorry that I've been gone for like three weeks. That's because I got um, some faulty community gun lane strike. So YouTube, fix your stuff, please. Like YouTube is broken right now, so I'm so sorry for those who were trying to look up some tutorials, uh, you know, last week. So I really am sorry for that. It's not my fault, uh, but you know, YouTube is not going to stop me from making videos. And you guys are my motivation. You guys are my passion, and that's why I continue to make videos because you guys really love them, and nothing's going to stop that. Okay, so um, anyways, I'm going to show you how to do this really cool animation, uh, I guess you can call animation trendy electric element to your music videos or vlogs or whatever, honestly. It looks really cool. Now, this pack isn't for free, unfortunately. I'm sorry to break it down to you, but you guys get a bunch of elements, effects, transitions, backgrounds, animated backgrounds, scenes, titles, and a whole bunch of stuff like that. And you can also use this for logos and stuff like that. Now, I just want to give a huge thanks to TR TRMG for allowing me to actually use this pack for a tutorial just like this one, uh, as well as the link to buy and download the pack so you guys can use it in After Effects. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it in After Effects and in Final Cut Pro 10. All right, so the pack is called Flash FlashFX Pro Animation Constructor. It is by TRMG, also the creator of the Trendy uh, Transitions. If you guys have seen that, I made a tutorial on that. Link is in the description. So you can go to this page as well, and you can see all the stuff that you guys can use this for. Alrighty, guys, so this is what I've done here. I'm going to push play so you guys can see what you guys can do with this really cool animation uh, toolkit. Now, when you guys buy and download it, you're going to go to File, Open Project, I'm going to click don't save just for the sake of the tutorial. We're going to go into Flash Effects Pro. Mine says King Tuts just because he allowed me to use this. I'm going to go into Flash Effects Pro. If you guys are on, on the CS6 version, go to that one. I'm just going to do this one. I'm on CC 2017. Now it's going to allow you, it's going to bring up a window saying that it has to be converted. Click OK. And then just wait for the project to load. All right. So once the project loads, you're going to go onto Main Comp and uh, TRMG has pretty much placed some placeholders here so you guys can edit and stuff. I'm just going to select everything, click on one, command A and delete. And then here we're going to be adding uh, our, our effects. So I'm going to go onto file. I'm going to go onto import and I'm going to select the video. I'm going to click enter and I'm going to click and drag and disable the audio or temporarily, by the way, over here, you have the eye icon to temporarily disable the audio. All right. So once you are here, I'm going to skim through the video because I want the effect to start here. All right. That sounds, that looks good. All right. Before I go though, um, you have a whole bunch of stuff here in the flash effects pro folder. You have scenes, titles, transitions, elements, logo, backgrounds, tools, gift, and ignore. So in the scenes, if we open this and we will go into the navigation scenes, you can see all of the scenes that are pre-made that you guys can edit, but we're going to go into the elements. So go to the elements folder and we're going to go into the electric folder. Now, if you go to the, uh, all elements folder here, you can see all of the elements. It gives you like a preview of what you have in these folders. Now, once you go into a subfolder, like the electric folder, and we go to the navigation uh, folder, uh, yeah, the navigation electric, you can see different ones that you guys can go on to. So you can like, let's say we want to use this one. You can click on it and double click and select it and press command C, which is the electric 13 glow. We're going to, we're going to go to the very bottom and we'll go to the main comp. From here, you're going to select the clip and press Command V to paste it on top. All right. So once you guys are here, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, going to fit so you guys can see this a bit better. Now, once we are here, what we want to do is we want to select this really tiny piece, which is the comp is what they call it in After Effects, at least. We're going to zoom in first by seeing this little mountain. We're going to click and drag and I'm going to select this comp and move it to our time head, which is about here. All right. Right there. Okay. Now we're going to select this and I'm going to move this actually inwards a little bit and we're going to move and scale this down. So click and hold down shift and move this down and I'm going to, I don't know, scale this to so something like this. Okay. And we're going to go onto the pen tool to mask this out because we want this effect to be behind him and then we're going to keyframe that. So this works better if you have clips that are not very fast paced and they're relatively in slow motion. So we're going to go onto the pen tool. Make sure you click on this again. And then now we can 
temporarily disable this by clicking this little eye icon next to the electric or whatever element you, you guys chose to use. And then I'm just gonna click and drag and just make a selection of him, okay? And I'm gonna click this and you're gonna see a little circle next to the pen tool, which means you're gonna close the path. Make sure it's closed. And then we're gonna go into the electric 13 glow by clicking this little, well, first we're gonna enable this again and you can see what we've done. We've masked it inside of this shape, which is him, but we want it to be the opposite. So we're gonna click this little arrow next to the number one or this color here. We're gonna go onto masks and we're gonna, you can see that it's on add. We're gonna do subtract, so it's the opposite. So now he's in front and the element is behind him. All right, so once you're at this point, we want to go onto the mask one. So open this again by clicking this little arrow and you're gonna have mask path, okay? Click on this again. You wanna make sure that these points are visible or else you're not gonna be able to edit anything. Make sure that the place, uh, the time head is at the very beginning or close to the beginning and then go to the uh, mask path, okay? And click this little stop watch icon to add your first keyframe. From this point, all you're gonna do is zoom in a little bit closer and then we're gonna go about halfway and then we can click and drag, um, I did not select this, so I gotta click on this again and then you can move it. That's why you have to select it. But anyways, you can pretty much move these here, some like this, okay? And then go to the end here I don't know, something like that. And then just move these out again, okay? All right, we're done, okay? So now if we go back and I push play, you're gonna see how that looks like. It looks really bad because the render quality is set to quarter. We're gonna do full. Okay, there we go. So now if I go back and I push play, that is what it looks like and it looks super cool, guys. So let's say you don't like blue. Let's say you like pink or purple or orange. Well, all you gotta do is go into the, uh, not in the masks, but into the effects here in the electric glow or whatever element you have. Go to the effects and you should have these here. And you have color, glow, intensity. We're gonna go to color, click that arrow and click this blue color. And then you can change the color. So you can click and move this here. And then you can click okay. And then you might have to re, there you go. It's kind of slow, I'm sorry. Um, but you will have to reposition. I'm gonna have to change the render quality because it's so slow. But you can see that by changing the color, let me do that again so you guys can see. So you can see that you can do like purple, maybe yellow or, or orange or gold, whatever color you guys want. It's all up to you at this point. So let's say you wanna do this in Final Cut Pro 10. Well, okay, let's say you choose out one that you like and you, you for sure are gonna use this just on one clip. Well, we're gonna use the electric 13. So we're gonna select this clip. We're gonna to go to composition. We're gonna to go to add to render queue. So now we have this here. We're gonna to go to the output module. We're gonna to go to format. We're gonna do quick time. We're gonna to go to format options and we're gonna to go to video codec and we're gonna do H.264. The reason we do this is so that it's playable on a Mac. Click on okay and then the output, just save it to like desktop or something and then click save and then click render. And this will render out this, just this one here. However, it's gonna render how it is. So if you didn't you know, change any of the color and all that stuff, it's just gonna export as a, it's just gonna export how it is. So let's go back to this and we can go in here, go to the effects and then you can go and change this and then export it, all right? So now we're gonna go into Final Cut Pro 10. All right, so once you're in Final Cut, all you're gonna do is press Command I to import your files. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna select this one that, we F, that we've exported and right now it has a black background that's fine. We're gonna go to Command I and we're gonna select the video here. All right, so once you have your video imported into the timeline, we're gonna to go to that spot where we want to add our effect, which is right here. Okay, and we're gonna have our effect, just drag that above. Okay, and then go to the blend mode and go to add, and then you're pretty much done. And you can see how it's a lot easier, of course, but we're gonna go into the transform tool, uh, change this to however you, however you like. Now keep in mind, that this is not the most optimal way of using the, the pack because you're changing the blood mode and you're not getting the full quality of the actual element, which kind of sucks, but it's close, right? So now we're gonna add a mask. So go to the effects and then you're gonna go onto masks, draw mask and drag that above here, okay? So now you're gonna have a draw mask and then all you're gonna do is just, I don't know, go here and then select him. It can be rough, like I said, it doesn't have to be like full on perfect, but if it's if you do if you spend more of your time uh, making these selections, it's going to turn out a lot better. But for the sake of time, I'm going to quickly make this like that. And then once you've 
completed the path, you're gonna go invert, and then now this should be behind, as you can see, but we're gonna to have to uh, add some keyframes. So go to the control points, click this keyframe, okay? Make sure you're at the, the time it is at the beginning. Go towards the middle and then adjust these again. So we can do something like this. Click each one to individually modify it, or else you're gonna be moving the whole entire uh, the whole entire thing, which you probably don't want because we're working with the original video. And then we can go to the, I don't know, around here and then move this again. Just like we did in After Effects, we're literally replicating that in After in uh, or sorry, just how we did that in After Effects, we're replicating that in Final Cut. So something like this. And then once you're done from this point, all you gotta do is go to the feather and feather this out. Uh, you can do inwards or outwards. I like to go inwards just a little bit. And then now if I push play, it looks just like that and you can't really tell. Now, of course, this is going onto the letterbox. So I'm gonna select uh, everything, group it, go to the effects and then type in letterbox and drag that above. And then just drag the offset or my bad, go to border size and move this up to hide it like that. And bam, there we go. You got your really cool element going on and sweet. So if you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, turn on the bell notification, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.